see the bogey on the last was a disappointment. Yeah. Can you just talk about that tee shot first? Yeah. Um, it was just, just a bad time for a pull. Um, I was trying to just hit kind of the same, similar one that, that I hit off of uh, 16. Not not quite as dramatic of a cut, but um, just kind of started it on the wrong side of the wind and it's blowing pretty good off the right. So, um, yeah, just a bad time for a bad one. What did you have after that? Um, well, 120-ish. I'm not, not sure. Over bushes? and Yeah, over bushes. Didn't have much of a backswing the direction I would have liked to. Um, I kind of fatted it. I'm, I think I'm pretty fortunate that it ended up where it did. Um, but, yeah, I mean, not not a great look. Yeah. What'd you hit there for the? Gap wedge. Gap wedge. And then what'd you see in that last par putt? Um, uh, more break than it did. I, I don't know. Uh, I just overread it a hair. I think it bobbled a little bit, maybe halfway there, and just never started coming down the hill. Yeah. What are you most proud of this week? I think I kept myself in it mentally really well today. Um, I hit a couple shots I was really proud of late. Those two par threes um, on the back, both kind of can bite you. Um, and I kind of let, let 15 get me yesterday in a similar situation, uh, like similar wind and everything. So I, I was proud of that shot, just making sure it, it didn't bite me. Um, but I think I handled, you know, my own thoughts really well. And for me, that's a big win, regardless of outcome. You, you, uh, you had talked about how well you handled your emotions. What, what are the emotions like right now? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I, I realized I wasn't going to win pretty quickly, and I have a four-hour drive home with a one- and a two-year-old. So uh, whatever emotions are attached to that. Cameron Young keeping his priorities straight, head high, chin up after becoming a runner-up once again on the PGA Tour. We've seen this quite a bit in 2021 to Sam Burns at the Sanderson Farms, Joaquin Neiman in 2022 at Riviera, a couple months later at Wells Fargo Falls. To Max Homa by two strokes, he was in the mix at that Open Championship, ultimately losing by one to Cam Smith. A couple months later, Tony Finau at the Rocket Mortgage and in 2023, making it all the way to the finals of the WGC Dell match play. And at another runner-up finish, you wonder if this one went in jam, maybe how much different that second shot could have looked for Mel Nadi coming out of the bunker, but the three-putt bogey unable to put a little pressure on Peter Malnati. And what are your initial takeaways, assessments of what Cam Young did to get in position, but then what he wasn't able to do to finish it off? Yeah, as he said, he hit a poor shot. Uh, he missed a couple opportunities at the par 3A, 15th and 17th for birdies, uh, and didn't take advantage of that. But it was an, un you know, I guess an unforced error. He hit a poor tee shot at the wrong time on 18, ultimately losing by two. And I think you can probably, as a pro, at least I could maybe take away, hey, I lost by two. If you lose by one, that makes it even more painful knowing that he three-putted after getting away with a bad tee shot. But uh, he fought his way through, and, and he made a lot of, hit a lot of good shots at the right time. Uh, he made some great putts at the end, but, uh, you know, just bogey in the 18th. And Peter went out and won the golf tournament. I think that's what you got to look at. Uh, ultimately, he birdies uh, 17 and then hit the two good shots at 18 and, and two putts there. But uh, another tough finish. I mean, you just got to keep grinding away. It hurts. It hurts deep. Uh, and I think, you know, you just got to keep grinding out there. And I, I don't have the answer. I can't tell you what I would tell him other than to just keep fighting. And that's the hardest part, you know, when you look at seven runner-ups uh, and, and how close they were to winning. You could always go back. I always go back and people ask me, you know, what would you have done different? I'd have won more. Uh, I've lost a lot of tournaments by a shot or two. And I've still, at my age, recount those times thinking, well, I should have done this and I should have done that or I could have done that. Uh, and you really can't do that or you'll drive yourself crazy. So I think for him, he's just basically got to go, hey, I gave it the best. I got to go on and I, you know, I'll get back on the horse that threw me off. Cameron Young saying the right things after uh, coming so close to the Valspar Championship. But internally, what does that do to a golfer when you continue to knock on the door and seemingly no one's there on the other side? 
<laughs> that's the tough part is trying to be patient through all, throughout that. And he said, you know, he was a lot be, you know, less, uh, I guess, critical on himself uh, this week, and it allowed himself to play free, and he did. It looked like he was in pretty good control, even though uh, uh, he missed the putt at 18, or at 17. He had about an 18-footer there. He hit a good putt. It was just a bad drive at the wrong time. It's the toughest driving hole on the golf course is 18. Uh, but it's more about leaving the putt short. He left the putt short at 13 as well, but made a great save there. But, uh, you know, he left the putt 8, 10 feet short, and you just can't do that when you got a chance. So uh, disappointing for him. Uh, he just got to go on to the next tournament he plays and try to put himself back out there in position again.